In this video, I'm gonna explain why having a website could actually be hurting your business and why you should have a community instead. I run my community on the school platform and I love it and I'll show you the 44,000 reasons why you should love it too. Plus I'll break down all the logic in my thinking so that you can make the best decision for your business. Let's get into it. Now I will say this doesn't apply to low ticket e-commerce type products, physical products. This is really for service-based businesses, coaches and consultants who need trust and are experts in their field and they're trying to sell their products and services online. Now I currently do have a website although I'll be shutting this off fairly soon because I'm gonna be going through a rebrand and I really just don't need a website or at least nothing like you see here. But the question of whether you build a website or not really doesn't come down to how easy it is. You have all of the platforms out there like Squarespace and all of these other platforms telling you how easy it is to launch a website. The real question is how effective is this website in selling your services? Because if you think about the online journey of a customer, if you're creating content online to generate traffic from social media to a website, you really have to understand the modern buyer's journey. People that come across you on social media, they've never met you, they have no idea who you are. If they immediately go to your website and it's not incredibly clear to them how your product and service is going to benefit their life right now, they're likely just not ready to buy or they're just likely confused as to what you actually offer. Now my website's pretty simple but my services have evolved over time and it really doesn't clearly match the messaging or the products that I'm currently selling. And if people are getting dropped off on your website and they're not ready to buy or they're confused, they're going to leave and you're not going to get that feedback to improve. It's really just a dead end. And of course, I could come back to this website and update it with all the recent messaging and all the things that I've learned so that it's more effective. But updating your website constantly and making sure that it's all up to date is really costly and time consuming. Websites in 2023 should be fine tuned to sell products to people that already know who you are and are ready to buy. Because people aren't just stumbling upon websites like they used to in the past. And this isn't just my theory. I've spent so much time on this website trying to perfect it. But it wasn't until I created the Content Academy community where I saw the big change in terms of revenue growth. So this is the model that I think most service-based and coaching and consultant-based businesses should follow. They're creating content to drive traffic from social media to something, and that something should be a community. Now, again, I run my community on school. I really love it. It's growing quickly. There's a lot of engagement, and I really think that's due to the simple nature of the school platform. It doesn't have a lot going on. It really gives you access to the main things a community needs, which is the ability to write write something and to ask questions and collaborate. A classroom where people can take courses and watch videos and where you can sell paid courses. And then a calendar for events. This is where you can put in the future events that you have related to your courses or maybe you have a live show or whatever that might be. And then you have your members. But one thing that's really cool about the school platform is that it also has some gamification so that as members collaborate and make posts and interact with each other, they will get points that can unlock courses in the classroom. But even a bigger reward for participating in a community is the leaderboard. So the more you collaborate and participate in the community, the higher you will be on this list. And if you're a busy business owner, this might not necessarily seem attractive to you, but here I'm in a different community that has a lot of members. They're all potential clients of mine. And if you're on the top of the leaderboard, all 19,000 of these people are seeing you here every day, and then they can click into your profile, and then they can also see where your community is. So don't underestimate the power of being at the top of one of these leaderboards. If there is a community out there that is filled with your potential market, being at the top of that list is very valuable. So the benefit of this setup here is that as people come off of social media and enter your community, you're immediately able to provide them value, give them help, and then also get their feedback. And at the same time, they are being exposed to your products along the way. I've set up my school community, so it's very obvious what is free and what is paid. You can even use some of your courses to explain how the community works and to explain the differences between your free and paid programs. You can even link to your paid programs so that people can access them and they're being exposed to this in a much more organic way where they're also collaborating and interacting with other community members. So they're much more engaged and learning a lot more about you than they would if they just stumbled across your website through social media and then left. Because even though you might have a YouTube channel or a blog, there's no compelling reason for them to go click on that and watch that if they don't really know you. So there's a lot of good ways to introduce them to your paid programs and even introduce all of your testimonials in a nice non-intrusive way that exposes them to it but without actually selling to them. So as you engage with your community members, you're gonna get better insights about the market, you're gonna get better messaging, you're gonna be able to create better content, and you'll have a lot of people talking about you as well. And so with this system here, you really start to build a flywheel of insights, you provide more value, you provide more help, you get more feedback, and that cycle continues. And now, of course, there might be a time when a website really makes sense, but it's really gonna be when this flywheel that you've created is working so well, and that messaging is so on point that you can create a very simple website that is going to distill all of the insights and the messaging that you 
need so that you can build a website that really sells effectively to the people that come across you on social media. And using this process, you'll sell a lot more products without the website just by having people interact in the community, get to know you, get to understand your level of expertise, maybe taking some of your free courses and then learning about your paid programs, all without having any website at all. I know that seems hard to believe, but you really don't need a website in 2023. And if you feel like you just have to have some sort of website, this is the new one that I'm about to launch. You want to create something that's pretty simple. It just has basic links to your community, maybe your YouTube channel, a way to book a call and maybe to buy. But other than that, it should really just have a video and maybe some sort of free resource that they can access and learn more about you that way. But you can see here, there's not much more than this. There's not even other pages that they can visit. And if I need to change anything, it's just a matter of logging into one page and changing some text here or there. But this is really acting more as a landing page. And I wouldn't even recommend starting here. This is really like a phase two. And if you really get to the point where you're scaling pretty quick and people are buying a lot of your product, you might finally build a more robust website down the line. You just really want to make sure that the product and the messaging are on point so that when someone leaves it, they know exactly how you're going to help them and they can buy. So if you follow this advice, this is going to lead to more sales for your business. And more importantly, it's going to give you a lot of time back from that compelling feeling that you get every time something changes about your offer or your service. And now you got to go back to your website and redo this page and redo that page, which really just takes a lot of time. So as always, I hope you found this video valuable. If you want to build out your own school community to drive more sales for your products and services, make sure to check the link in the description below. It'll give you a free 14 day trial. Check it out. I'll see you there.